Oh, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shar. Come here with me. Come here with me. Yes, honey, you get the picture. Listen, today we're going to have a conversation where two people can communicate. There must be a messenger and there must be a receiver. This is not a chat for children. So if you are a child, you probably should exit stage left. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Today we're going to get Martel in order, okay? Yesterday I was on live and a couple comments came through the page. And the comments went a little bit like, Shar, did you see that Martel backtracked his story and now he wants to support Mr. Devin I said huh Where Where can I find it And child Long and behold I found it So you know I gotta give A uh, um an order or operation here okay so let's backtrack a couple days ago martel decided that he wanted to come out the bushes from being with his lady um his alleged lady okay his paid for lady his 10 percent lady however you want to put it okay he decided he want to come out and pick with miss melanie okay try to expose her because everybody can't see her in this light that he um you know in this great light he wants her light to be dark he want her to be exposed he want everybody to look at her like she's the bad guy so he decides he's going to poke this um, post this post and take it down extremely quick right so he says y'all let me know if melanie shereen or anyone else started to go fund me for devin keith i have a little something number king now 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 wait a minute we don't even know a devin keith who the hell is a devin keith we don't live in huntsville we don't know nothing about him so of course everybody started to okay and pow he pops up and he's a councilman of huntsville all right and lo and behold they find another picture that says that at some point melanie and martel support supported this young man so why did you try to expose her if y'all had a friendship or you know association together at some point it didn't make her look bad it definitely made you look bad but with that being said we know what kind of fellow you are we know what kind of dude you are what kind of um, you know you're just a jealous dude so you're going to do anything to make everybody point the fingers at melanie rather than thinking rationally so of course long and behold this whole story comes out i'm not gonna get into the details if you guys want the details you can go and look at my um my previous videos okay i'm not going to go into details but here's what i will say this did not work he quickly removed the post um in a blink of an eye but you know youtube and everybody else done screenshotted that thing honey and we had the proof in the pudding you said what the hell we said you said all right marty mel you tried to expose her and it backfired on you try again because she wasn't even touched and if it was her or anybody else that you pulled this tactic on i would say the same thing epic failure all right moving hell along now here's where things get a little bit tricky he says i live most of my life in the district one so i know how much has changed because of devin keith's leadership i attended terry heights elementary stone middle and senior butler i then went to attend and graduated from alabama a m a and m he says a and m university i was brought up in the terry heights butler terrence mansion court north woods north wood meadow hill council court lincoln projects and oak park i then went on to attend and graduated from alabama a and m university though the areas in which i grew up has generally been labeled poverty stricken and have often been seen as less deserving i am proud to have been raised there many many great people from those neighborhoods have gone on to do great things child listen so let me get it right you went to expose melody and this young man because you didn't even think i'm exposing both of them rather i was aiming for just one i was exposing both of them right now all of something that your plan backfired and people are dragging the hell out of you for the way you did it and the context you did it on social media now you want to go back and talk about the area you grew up in and the area that you grew up in he's making a change in didn't you just say he gonna need a go for me now what you say he need a sticker that he did a great job Child now, what kind of sticker are you trying to give him? You trying to give him a heart? You trying to give him a star? What you trying to give him a popcorn? What kind of sticker are you going to give him, teacher? I need to know because see, the problem is you think that your your stuff don't stink. You think you can go out, make all these accusations. You can point your finger at this person and that person. You don't care who the hell you expose while you trying to expose Melody, and everybody's supposed to you know swallow that. No, no, sir, that's not the way it go. You are going to have to for once own your stuff. What you 
should have stayed, said, why well, you posted this post. I previously made a post that I am not proud of. Accountability, okay, which we see this young man doing, even though he was wrong as hell. Okay, accountability. What you should have said was, I apologize for my previous post. I was coming from an arrogant state. I was coming from a hurt state. I was coming from a jealous state. And then you should have proceeded to say what you said. But again, you again, you want us all to forget what you said a couple days ago. And then you want us to focus on this one. No, it doesn't work like that. What we're going to do, we need you to rewrite this, right? Just like you did that flyer that you ain't get no, no clout on, you ain't get no response to, and you added that $2,000 giveaway and the filming to it so you can get the responses that you needed. We're going to need you to go rewrite this post and start with an apology first, okay? And when you do that, you come back to us and we'll we'll see how it go. All right, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this man retracking his story after trying to expose Melanie. It's all allegedly, in my opinion, all right? I was not there. I was not the fly on the wall, so I'm only giving you what my thoughts are. Okay, but listen, meet me in the comment section. Turn your notification on, hit the like button, and subscribe. Bye!